Before we get into today's show, I have some urgent news to share with you. Premier Insight's financial year ends on June 30th, and we're facing a $52,000 gap in funding that must be closed by that date. The great news is that generous friends of the ministry have offered to match the first $2,000 given to help jumpstart giving towards this goal. So please take a moment today to give your best gift at premierinsight.org forward slash Bible in a year. That's premierinsight.org forward slash Bible in a year. Thank you for understanding how important your gift is today and for giving generously. And now it's time for today's podcast. The Bible in a Year, bringing the Word to life. Father God, as I come to listen to your word, I'm feeling anxious. Help me in this moment to be still and to know that you are God, to receive the gift of peace that you promise me in your word. Amen. Psalm 140 Rescue me, Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. They make their tongues as sharp as the serpents. The poison of vipers is on their lips. Keep me safe, Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent, who devise ways to trip my feet. The arrogant have hidden a snare for me. They have spread out the cords of their net and have set traps for me along my path. I say to the Lord, You are my God. Hear, Lord, my cry for mercy. Sovereign Lord, my strong deliverer, you shield my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the wicked their desires, Lord. Do not let their plans succeed. Those who surround me proudly rear their heads. May the mischief of their lips engulf them. May burning coals fall on them. May they be thrown into the fire, into miry pits never to rise. May slanderers not be established in the land. May disaster hunt down the violent. I know that the Lord secures justice for the poor and upholds the cause of the needy. Surely the righteous will praise your name, and the upright will live in your presence. Lamentations chapter 3 I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of the Lord's wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my skin and my flesh grow old and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. He has walled me in so that I cannot escape. He has weighed me down with chains. Even when I call out or cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has barred my way with blocks of stone. He has made my paths crooked. Like a bear lying in wait, like a lion in hiding. He dragged me from the path and mangled me and left me without help. He drew his bow and made me the target for his arrows. He pierced my heart with arrows from his quiver. I became the laughing stock of all my people. They mock me in song all day long. He has filled me with bitter herbs and given me gall to drink. He has broken my teeth with gravel. He has trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace. I have forgotten what prosperity is. So I say, 
my splendour is gone, and all that I had hoped from the Lord. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Let him sit alone in silence, for the Lord has laid it on him. Let him bury his face in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to one who would strike him and let him be filled with disgrace. For no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love. For he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone to crush underfoot all prisoners in the land, to deny people their rights before the Most High, to deprive them of justice. Would not the Lord see such things? Who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that both calamities and good things come? Why should the living complain when punished for their sins? Let us examine our ways and test them, and let us return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and our hands to God in heaven and say, We have sinned and rebelled, and you have not forgiven. You have covered yourself with anger and pursued us. You have slain without pity. You have covered yourself with a cloud so that no prayer can get through. You have made us scum and refuse among the nations. All our enemies have opened their mouths wide against us. We have suffered terror and pitfalls, ruin and destruction. Streams of tears flow from my eyes because my people are destroyed. My eyes will flow unceasingly, without relief, until the Lord looks down from heaven and sees. What I see brings grief to my soul because of all the women of my city. Those who were my enemies without cause hunted me like a bird. They tried to end my life in a pit and threw stones at me. The waters closed over my head and I thought I was about to perish. I called on your name, Lord, from the depths of the pit. You heard my plea. Do not close your ears to my cry for relief. You came near when I called you, and you said, do not fear. You, Lord, took up my case. You redeemed my life. Lord, you have seen the wrong done to me. Uphold my cause. You have seen the depth of their vengeance, all their plots against me. Lord, you have heard their insults, all their plots against me. What my enemies whisper and mutter against me all day long. Look at them, sitting or standing, they mock me in their songs. Pay them back what they deserve, Lord, for what their hands have done. Put a veil over their hearts, and may your curse be on them. Pursue them in anger and destroy them 
from under the heavens of the Lord. Father God, thank you for your word. My life is in your hands. Fill me with your Holy Spirit today. That true holiness will be evident in my life. Amen. For more resources to help you bring the word to life, go to premier.org.uk forward slash Bible. This reading has been taken from the NIV Bible Biblica and is published by Hodder and Stoughton.